Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S. S iterations are becoming increasingly common in the Android space, and this one's kind of no different. You do have a couple of key elements that are enhanced, but for the most part, you get the same phone from before, and the good news is that this phone is actually one of the more attractive ones that we've used. In terms of design, you still get this ceramic backing, uh, which shines beautifully, and it's still one of the better phone materials that we actually don't see a whole lot in smartphones, and we kind of wish that we did. You can already see the main change on the back, and that is with the dual lens setup. This is a 12 megapixel and 12 megapixel camera package that is very similar to the one that you may have already seen on the Xiaomi Mi 6. Now this is a big deal because now the size of the pixels is up to 1.4 microns, which should help with low light, and just on its own, it should provide a little bit more detail. We've done a couple of tests already with the original Mi Mix, uh, and you'll see those in the full review, but we already see a bit of an increase in detail and quality. That lens comes in at an f1.8 aperture, and with the secondary lens, you get a 2x optical zoom. They do use dual pixel autofocus, which means that the autofocus should be faster than before. Now, one thing that I do have to mention, the software on this global version of the phone, overall, uh, the OS and also the camera software have not really been finalized, so there are going to be some things that change between now, my full review, and then a follow-up review that I'm going to do when I get my hands on the completely finalized unit. One of those things that the new software will finalize is AI assistance in the camera. Basically, what they're using AI for in this case is to cut out the subject in portrait mode a lot easier. But also, it's trying to add in the beauty modes in such a way that is not only reasonable, but effective. These are things that we can't really test out right now fully, and we will make sure to have that ready for you with our follow-up camera review. With that said, MIUI is now at version 9, and it has been updated to Android O. And that should mean a lot of different features have been added onto here, but it still mainly looks familiar from previous MIUI iterations. It is the operating system that gets updated on the regular because of feedback in the forum, so there are always going to be certain features that are added into here that you may not really expect. For example, swipe gestures that are really similar to the ones found on the iPhone X. But speaking of that screen experience, yes, you still get the traditional Mi Mix full screen experience with a really good screen to body ratio. It is a six inch display at 18 by nine aspect ratio, and it is a full HD plus panel. It's still a lovely viewing experience, and it's good to have that much screen, especially on the top portions of the phone, because of course the camera has been moved down to the bottom just like before. Having some elements be on this bottom bar is kind of the antithesis to the notch. So that's why I think it's kind of nice to see this phone come out with this kind of motif rather than move on to the notches like everyone else seems to be doing. Just like before, this screen is achieved by putting a very small call speaker at the top and then an ultrasonic sensor is what it uses for proximity so that when the phone is next to your face, it knows that and will turn off the screen. But from there, we can get into the internals. This is, of course, going to be an updated version of the Mi Mix, so it gets the latest Snapdragon 845. And there are still those really high specifications that you get on here with models that range from 6 to 8 gigabytes of RAM. And then in this case, I have the 256 gigabyte of onboard storage edition. One thing to note for anyone that might be importing this phone is that the global bands are only available on the highest end model, this 8 gigabyte RAM and 256 gigabyte storage model. It also supports dual nano SIMs, and as far as the battery goes, you get a 3400 milliamp hour battery on here that supports Quick Charge 3.0. And speaking of the battery, one final thing we'll mention is that even though the ceramic on the back might not seem like the best place for conducive wireless charging, that is exactly what they were able to do here. It is adherent to the Qi wireless standard, and one cool thing that Xiaomi is doing is they are going to be releasing their own wireless charger that comes in at around 17 US dollars. If you're at all a fan of Xiaomi's accessories lineup because they tend to make pretty affordable peripherals, then this might be one you want to look out for. And the Qi wireless charging, of course, supported by the Mi Mix 2S. And so there you have it, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. I'll be reviewing it while abroad over the next week or so, and I'm looking forward to using it kind of in its own natural habitat because, of course, Xiaomi is not going to be releasing this phone in the West anytime soon. Hopefully, the enhancements to the rear camera are going to be great, even if the front camera is still kind of in a place that we're not too excited about, but also it's a 5 megapixel shooter, so it's also not the most high powered front facing camera. But that's not really something that they touched, they mainly worked on the rear camera. So with that, keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more about this Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S, and you'll be able to see some content from it while I'm out on my travels, and also I might be able to show you some of the video samples from here, with the caveat, of course, that it is not final software yet, but I'll let you know when it is. Thank you so much for watching, and keep it tuned to Android Authority for more, and head on over to AndroidAuthority.com for all the best, because we are your source for all things Android.